The Homeland Security Investigations Forensic Laboratory specializes in the detection and deterrence of identity document fraud. We are the only accredited laboratory in the United States that specializes in the examination of international travel and identification documents. The laboratory has recently completed extensive renovations to all the sections. Um, it has increased our capacity twofold and is allowing for greater expansion in the future. This is the main instrument room in the question document section at the HSI Forensic Laboratory. When an HSI special agent suspects that a document may be counterfeit or altered, they submit the document to the laboratory for further scrutiny. At that time, we examine the document here with all the various instruments we have to determine if it's genuine, counterfeit, or altered. Amongst the tools we have at the laboratory are digital microscopes. These microscopes give us a high degree of magnification ranging from zero to 5,000 times that allow us to see the fine features in security documents. We examine our passports under video spectral comparators to identify security features and evidence of alteration that would not be uh, visible to the naked eye. Those instruments allow us to look at the documents under ultraviolet light using filters in the visible spectrum and in the near infrared. At the laboratory, we utilize a comparison microscope to conduct a side-by-side -side examination under high magnification to look at the various features in security documents. Other services provided include the analysis of handwriting, the analysis of indented writing, the reconstruction of shredded documents, and the analysis of thermal printer ribbons. The laboratory recently acquired a thermal ribbon analysis platform, also known as TRAP. Thermal printer ribbons are often used to produce counterfeit driver's licenses and identification cards. The TRAP scans and processes a used thermal ribbon in less than two hours, yielding a complete transcript of the cards produced on any given printer. This analysis is critical because it allows us to reach a maximum sentencing charges based on federal sentencing guidelines. It's essential for us to be able to compare physical documents, and that's what we keep here in the library. This is where we keep any documents that show identity, nationality, or eligibility for some benefit. And right now we have more than 300,000 different documents of various types, including passports, driver's licenses, national identity cards, visas, and many other things. So say a question passport comes in, our examiners will pull a similar document to compare from the library. We are the only laboratory that has this kind of collection, particularly of international documents. The information that we have here, though, isn't just for ICE. It's cataloged and indexed on an electronic system called IDEAL, and various other parts of the government have access. Behind me, we have images of some of the passports from the 9-11 hijackers. These passports were examined here because of the information that we have in this room. Passports from Saudi Arabia, U.S. visas, that enabled the examiners to come to a forensic conclusion about these documents. That stripe could be used to encode data. The information in the library is also used to help us develop training programs and materials that are intended to help ICE officers be able to identify fraudulent documents when they see them. It's important for ICE officers to know the latest information about trends in fraud, and the information here in the library helps us to do that. The HSI Forensic Laboratory Late and Print section provides scientific expertise across all investigative services within HSI. We examine a wide range of evidentiary items, anything from weapons to ammunition to currency, drug packaging and paraphernalia, documents, compact discs, computer hard drives, anything of that nature, but it's certainly not limited to those items only. One of our items that we are known for are our immigration database searches. We have access to three at our laboratory, of which are the NGI, which is the FBI's criminal and civil databases. We have Department of Defense's ABIS database, and we also have the uh, DHS IDENT immigration database. We're one of only three agencies that has access to the DHS IDENT or immigration database, which makes us extremely valuable in the fact that we can help identify individuals that are in that database that would not likely be in NGI, which is the FBI database, or in the DOD database.
We serve about 12,000 officers and agents domestically and abroad, um, which makes us even more valuable because we can give them investigative services that deal with money laundering, alien smuggling, um, weapons trafficking, uh, child exploitation and pornography cases, counterproliferation, just to name a few. Here we have a variety of commercially available printers. Why is that important? Here in the research and development section, we conduct vulnerability studies to identify commercially available equipment that may be utilized to simulate features in counterfeit documents. This section is composed of forensic document examiners who conduct analysis of various counterfeit and altered documents. They analyze the various components such as ink, toner, paper, and the various substrates used to create these counterfeits. In addition, the research and development section routinely examines card substrates such as driver's licenses to identify the different materials utilized in their construction. The goal of these examinations is to determine whether or not these cards are manufactured in a way that will prevent counterfeiters from attacking them or creating new counterfeits. The research and development section is often utilized by many of its federal partners, such as the Department of State, Department of Defense, and USCIS. We conduct vulnerability studies to identify weaknesses within their documents the goal here is to identify any of the weaknesses and eliminate them in the final product. The Polygraph Program for HSI has several examiners located nationwide that can support any HSI investigation. What can the polygraph do for me? It establishes a subject's credibility, first and foremost. Outside of that, it can help you identify investigative leads, additional suspects in the case, hidden assets, any type of investigative lead that may have been overlooked. Are you now sitting down? Yes. Currently nationwide, we run a lot of domestic cases from child exploitation cases with hands-on offenders or anything that the case agent can imagine, whether it's a human trafficking case, drug case, counterproliferation case, any type of case can utilize the polygraph services. Another important role that forensic document examiners play at the HSI Forensic Laboratory is to testify in federal district court in criminal proceedings and administrative hearings in immigration court. Basically, if you want to get a passport examined, forensic examination in the United States, it has to come through this lab. There are other agencies that are accredited in question documents, but not international travel and identity documents. There are accredited crime labs but they don't do what we do. 